Well, hello, my friends. I hope that your week has been fantastic and you've got awesome plans for your weekend. Hey, this week, I want to talk about the escrow process, specifically to buyers out there answering the question, can you cancel your purchase? And the short answer to that is yes, but there's more to it than that. So the California Purchase Agreement has naturally built in contingency periods for making your purchase. Contingency periods are kind of like your ability to review things and make a decision to keep going or cancel at the end of the time frame. So they're also kind of like cancellation rights. And those are based on things like your loan approval, your appraisal going, going well, all of your inspections of the home and your review of all the reports that you're going to receive, including if there's an HOA, all of the details about the HOA, and even securing proper homeowner's insurance. And there are timelines naturally built into the purchase contract of about 17 to 21 days. Most of the time, we do shorten up those contingency timeframes in the interest of moving things along. And also, particularly when it comes to your inspections, it's better to know sooner rather than later if this is really the home of your dreams. So what happens is you go through these periods of time and you'll do your due diligence by reviewing all of the reports very thoroughly, help having your agent help you with all of that. And of course, having proper inspections, which would be a general inspection, maybe a mainline sewer inspection, maybe a roof inspection, other things like that. And of course, if you're using lending, working diligently with your lender to get through your approval process. And what happens is at the end of whatever time frames you have set up, 10, 12, 14, there's that moment when you need to make your decision as to whether or not you feel good about the house and want to continue with the escrow, or you have questions or maybe second thoughts about it. This is where you must make the decision. And this is where if something's not working for you in any of those areas that you've set up your contingencies for, you have the ability to cancel. And what happens if you do do that prior to removing your contingencies, that earnest money deposit that you put into escrow at the very start, which is typically 3%. So if it's a million dollar home, that's a $30,000 deposit that will come back to you. Now, what happens is if, if you do decide you love the house and you're ready to move forward, you will actually sign off on those contingencies, removing them, letting them know you're done with that and ready to move forward. Just because 10, 12, 14, 17 days comes does not mean that your contingency period is automatically over. That's a passive process. California has um, an active process, meaning you need to sign off on that contingency. So once you have done that, your deposit now goes hard, which means that it is at risk. Should you change your mind between the time that you remove your contingencies and the escrow closing date, you would then put your deposit at risk and the seller may have the right to retain your deposit and you walk away with nothing. But sometimes walking away with nothing gives you more peace of mind. It does not happen very often, but it's possible. That's why it's so important to work with a great agent helping you through the purchase process to make sure that when you are removing those contingencies, it's the right time to do that and it's appropriate and you feel very strong about moving forward. I have seen somebody cancel their escrow at day 30, closing day at 10 a.m., cancel the escrow and walk away from $45,000. Now, my seller got to keep that money, so it was kind of like a consolation prize for having gone through 30 days and not actually selling their home. But obviously, it was worth it to that particular buyer to walk away and just simply leave the building with $45,000 in the seller's hand. So don't let that happen to you. Make sure you've got great representation when you're going through your home purchase. It is critical. There's more to it than just loving the house and making the correct offer. All right, if you have any crazy stories about contingencies or cancellations, I'd love to hear them. Better yet, if you're looking for a great strategy for going through a purchase and you need a great agent, I'd love to sit down and get a cup of coffee with you and chat. And of course, I'm always here for any questions. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Take care.